Today is the day of chores to be done. <laughs> I had a chore that's been bugging me for a long time. I just got finished up. I took the fuel tank out of my old green second gen Dodge and I had to change the sending unit. And what was wrong was the little pickup tube. It's like a black plastic straw that goes in the tank. Well, it was leaking where it was crimped to the uh, float at the bottom. It's got this big cork in the bottom that I assume that when it runs out of fuel, it closes the valve in the bottom of the, the bottom of the tank so that it no longer gets any more, uh, doesn't suck air. But anyway, it will run out of fuel. That's just doing the opposite of what it's supposed to do. So I figured it was time. And this big girl, this is my 400, which I love. I'm gonna put a small bar on. I picked up an 18 inch bar today, and I'm gonna take the 25 off. I don't always need this 25 inch bar. I'm glad to have it. It's brand new, there's nothing wrong with it. And I will be using it when I got some big softwood logs or something, but I got a bunch of hardwood to cut up. And I want to uh, just use that smaller, smaller bar, the crooked stuff. It's too crooked to go through my processor or too big or twisted or something. So I'll use this saw for that. And it's a little, I think it's a little underpowered with the, with the 25 inch bar. That's about the maximum you'd ever want on that. And it's got a, I mean, I've got a 20 inch bar on my 200 or my 261 rather. And I think it's underpowered as well. So that came with a 16 inch. Then I put an 18 inch on it. Look at that. It's like winning the lottery when that all un <laughs> unfolds like that. That's awesome. Yeah, so I put the 20 on it, 20 light bar and it's great limbing limbing bar but it's a little too much for that small saw so I'll probably change that back to a 16 maybe I don't know 18 inch on my 400 I have to do a few more adjustments thread that screw back a little further Can't see anything. Oh, I've got my glasses. Never mind. I think somebody took offense to my. Actually, I know they did because they emailed me. <laughs> took offense to my last video that said real men don't buy sawmills. Well, I was flabbergasted that somebody took me serious. They don't know me as well as they think they know me. I even reached out privately and apologized that. My intent wasn't to offend anybody. My intent was to play a little tongue-in-cheek game with that 70s movie, Real Men Don't Eat Quiche. And lots of guys, my generation would know exactly what that movie was. But anyway, I apologized. No, one, no insult intended. I'm not taking the video down. I'm not gonna do anything else. That's, I can't control how somebody else reacts. I can only control what I do and my intent was had nothing to do with being insulting it was just it was just a satirical satirical title on that so and i don't think i need to apologize even to be honest with you but i'll be the bigger man So today was uh, kind of a screwed up day. I took the afternoon off to work on my truck. Got a load of wood today. I was told the other day that I wasn't going to get any more wood for a month because the normal supplier, they're in a big softwood stand right now and they can't get in the woods where the hardwood is. So I wouldn't have enough wood to last me. So I ended up, uh, I just bought it from another supplier 
I texted him yesterday. He texted me back within a half an hour. And I ended up with a nice 16 cord, nice 16 cord low wood. So I'm happy with that. That's good. I got a spare chain too. So now I'm going to hang this, this barn chain up so I know where to find it when I want it. I'll clean this. What I do is I, I've got a big commercial parts washer from building engines. And every now and again, I'll drop these in the parts washer and clean up the uh, the bars, take the pitch and stuff off them. This one's pretty good. And this chain I took off once already and put it into my, not through my grinder. This is the same 3 8 chain that my processor takes. Same size, just a lot longer. Another big box from Blue Eddy came the other day. I'm not allowed to uh, tell anybody what's in it because it's a brand new product that hasn't been released yet. And as soon as I get the go ahead to say, yeah, you go ahead and make a video about it. I've already got a couple of videos made about it. And then uh, it's nothing all that exciting, but it's very cool. <laughs> I can tell you right now that if I were to build a new camper, which I'm planning on, from scratch again, from, from the get-go, you know, from, from a, a box, let's say, to a camper or an empty van, I would be using one of these new solar generator systems. Blue Eddy's the one I'd use because that's the one I like and that's the one I know about, but there are lots of them on the market. It's just that uh, um, the AC200L so far has been that do everything. It's got a 30 amp circuit on it, run an air conditioner. It's expandable. It has uh, like 2,400 watts. It's just does everything you'd ask it to do. You can use it all day running power tools uh, from air, uh, pancake air compressor and chop saw. I have a small 350 watt solar panel that I plug into it and that will top up more than I'm using if, you know, of course it's sunny. But I would gear that up as the foundation of my next camper build so that it would be, um, um, well, it would just be all in one, the inverter, the MPPT controller, the battery, the monitor system, everything's all in one nice, neat little package. So to me, that's the, the ideal way to go. And they're sized for whatever size you can imagine, whatever you can think of. I was at my local steel dealer today and I found something out I didn't know before is that you can custom order these saws with different um, sprockets for different size chains, um, different width chains of course, when you order these saws new. So you can order just a bare or an empty power head, I think, uh, or you can set it up with a different bar. So when I got this saw, I got it with a 25 inch bar and I'm not 100% sure that that's not the way it came and it came empty and because I kind of wondered to myself I should have got the I thought they just came with a 16 inch bar and I should have got it instead of the uh, the 25 inch bar but anyway makes no difference I'm just fueling up for tomorrow morning so I've got about 60 cords of wood I think now ahead in uh, in eight foot logs the last load i got today is pretty good size looks like it's going to go through my processor nice not the toothpick size from the last couple loads that i've had which i was getting pretty discouraged when it takes so long it took me like an hour and 20 minutes today to make a quart of wood which is unacceptable where the cash those guys probably saw it and um yeah he's got uh a good size load of logs today. The logs are the right size, so it should be able to make some pretty good progress. Leave these vents off a little bit. This is my 95 second gen Dodge. It's filthy right now, but it's a great truck. I put over 100,000 kilometers on this truck, and it's been pretty much trouble free. The only thing I've ever had to do to this truck was, um, besides maintenance, Mind you, I did a, an overhaul when I first bought it. I did all the axle seals and brakes, service the transmission, ball joints, tire in, steering box, radiator, adjust the valves, the killer dowel pin delete kit, um, put this aluminum flat deck on. That's really makes it practical for hauling lumber, that's for sure. Airbags for the springs, the heavy duty trailer hitch, um, lift pump. What else did I have to do with this truck? Just some odds and ends. Nothing, nothing extraordinary. 
batteries, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I've driven this truck across Canada. I use this truck almost every day. This is my lumber truck. I use this, this will still effortlessly tow my um, single cord trailer, single, my aluminum trailer with no problem full. This is a strain to tow my gooseneck trailer. If this has a gooseneck, it's, it's equipped for it and I have towed a lot of wood with it, but the torque converter clutch is small. It's, it slips in this truck now. If you remember last summer, it was about this, about Christmas time, maybe I got it fixed, but from August, my torque converter would hunt, it would just come on off, on off, on off, on off, on off. And uh, anyway, that torque converter, I think took a hit then. And it was, if I remember, it was a ribbon cable um, something in the transmission anyway. I had it taken to a transmission shop. I traced it so that it was definitely in the transmission because I'd ground the solenoid directly uh, at the transmission and it would still do the still do the hunting. Sent it to the transmission shop. It wasn't that much money, less way less than a thousand bucks, and it came back fixed. And it's been working great ever since, other than the, the clutch slips. So I did put a billet torque converter in it about two and a half, three years ago, time flies. I've got it written down somewhere. It might be more than that ago now, I'm not sure, but yeah, because the other torque converter slipped as well under heavy load, but this one here is starting to do the same thing. So I'm not sure what the next, sorry. I'm not sure what the next upgrade is gonna be for a torque converter in this old girl. It's got a lot of power. I've got the uh, boost turned up to 30 pounds, lots of fuel. This should be somewhere around uh, 800 pound feet of torque on paper kind of thing. Um, and it, it pulls like it. My other truck is over a thousand and this is this is quite comparable. I'd say this truck would would uh, give it a good run for its money. That's a 6724 valve, the one you see over my shoulder. And this is a 5912 valve, um, all mechanical of course. So you can, once it's running, you can unhook, you can cut every wire under the hood and the thing will still run. So matter of fact, it has to energize the magnet to shut the engine off. So. And uh, so if it doesn't get energized, it won't shut the engine off. I've had to change that solenoid as well a hundred years ago. And uh, I remember reaching under to shut it off one time and lifting the, the stop cam up on the pump. So anyway, I think I've yammered on enough in this video. This is just a, just a nonsense verbal diarrhea video. So as uh, my good friend Tim would say, you're running off of the mouth like a soup sandwich, man. So anyway, I hope that didn't offend anybody, people that really like soup sandwiches. But anyway, Anybody that I, that I uh, offended in the last video, toughen your skin up. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Over to it, everybody.